Hello, I'm Lanny and we are Preserving Today, a Greener Postures project. Before I start, I like to get all my ingredients out. This just helps me make sure that I'm not missing anything that's necessary to make the recipe. Uh, the first thing I need is one cup of flour. I use Bob's Red Mill Organic Unbleached All-Purpose Flour. I like to scoop the flour out with a spoon and into the measuring cup and level it off. I do this instead of scooping with the measuring cup. This keeps me from compacting the flour and using too much for this recipe, which would make for dry waffles. We do need some salt. We need some baking powder. And that's it for the dry ingredients this time. My recipe calls for one tablespoon of sugar, but it's not really necessary, so I leave it out most of the time. I like to put all my dry ingredients in this fine mesh strainer and sift the flour into my mixing bowl. This uh, just makes things less clumpy when we add uh, our liquid ingredients. The recipe calls for one egg. This is a fresh egg from our hens this morning. Notice it's dirty. It's winter time here and always wet. It's rare that we get an egg that's not muddy. Uh, I don't bother washing the eggs. I know that dirt and where it came from. I scramble the egg a bit before adding some vanilla extract. And now I add the oil. Today I'm using avocado oil. It tastes best uh, when you use actually melted butter instead of oil, but I was feeling too lazy to get out a pan just to melt two tablespoons of butter. Now we can add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. And with the wet ingredients comes the star of the show, our fermented dairy kefir. I used whole cow's milk to make this kefir. I stir everything with a fork. Let me get this cutting board out of the way so you can actually get this done. A spatula is just the tool to finish the job. When it's all mixed, I let it rest for a few minutes so the flour can hydrate. This gives you time to get your waffle iron preheated. I used about a quarter of a cup of batter for each quadrant of my waffle maker. Once you put the batter on and close it, it'll be pretty steamy at first. When the steam subsides, it's ready to check. Leave them in until they're a nice golden color. I always move waffles to a wire rack first instead of straight to a plate. This helps prevent steam getting trapped, which makes the bottom of the waffle soggy. I have my little assistant help me add the rest of the batter. The recipe made six waffles total. It yields about one and a half cups of batter. When you're done, put them on a plate. My kid wanted them stacked high as the sky with a perfect square of cold butter and drizzled maple syrup on top. It uh, looks just like a cartoon that way. Well, there you have it. Easy, using ingredients I stock and ready in minutes. Kefir waffles, give it a try and tell me what you think.